Show us your fucking hands. Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad jefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir... Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir... Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman? He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with fuck. who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you... If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. Bowman, no! <clears throat> the dream is dead. If you're watching this, that means I have executed El Sueño. I'm certain that people will think I went crazy. That I did it out of emotion, that I broke. Fuck them. They're wrong. I knew exactly what I was doing. This piece of shit, this monster, tortured my friend, killed him. Decapitated my partner, massacred thousands. And he gets to walk? Uh, sorry, but not on my fucking watch. Given what El Sueño knew about Ricky Sandoval, he would have been unstoppable. Trivia question. What happens when you give immunity to a drug lord? Ding, ding, ding. You get a dictator. Taking out a drug lord is one thing, but stopping a dictator? You need a few more than four operators for that. My career, my freedom, my life is not worth more than the people of South America. Obviously, not everyone agrees. Which is why I'm most likely now in a federal correctional institute, getting three hots in a cot for the next 45 to life for murder. By now, CIA has probably released an official statement saying, the case officer in question is no longer employed by this agency and acted in direct opposition to her superiors. Her actions have caused great harm to the continued efforts of the intelligence community here and abroad. And guess what? They're right. I would have done the same thing as them. No hard feelings here. I just hope they don't leave Bolivia. Without Pakatari, the rebellion will tear itself apart with infighting. Unidad will make a deal with the next criminal organization that comes along, and the remains of Santa Blanca will split off and form new mini-cartels, all with shitty names like Nueva Frontera Cartel, Berrio Familia, and Los Hijos del Sueño. Everyone will continue killing each other for that coca. I wonder, if God knew all the destruction that this little leaf would bring, would she have still created it? 
Or maybe that's exactly why she did. I don't even know anymore. But it's no longer my question to answer. So I leave you with this. In the dying words of Augustus, founder and first emperor of the Roman Empire, have I played the part well? Then applaud as I exit. Bowman out. Hey, Ghost. I am Nordine. And I am Yves, the CEO of Ubisoft.